shocked by the loud explosions. Maggie, we can imagine the fear in the hearts of those residents. Incredible fear, Gray, of course. All of the stories start with that loud boom. Some waking people up, shaking them out of bed. Others rushing to the door to see what was going on and where that sound came from. Like the sun landing on the ground. That's how bright it was. Then, as it fell back down, you see different, look like metal, might have been, you know, coming down with glitter. Like the sparkle just kept raining down. And that's when I realized that this thing blew up. Get off your energy solutions refinery. All of a sudden, boom, the ground shook, the flame went up, parts were falling out the sky. That boom shook. About 2,000 feet to here. And the neighbor in South Dover Street. It was just a, such a loud explosion. A lot of different times I hear. How close this is to nearby roadways, major roads at I-95 there, that's the yellow strip you see. I-76 and the Platte Bridge were closed for a while this morning during the... And as you mentioned, there was a shelter in place, as Maggie had mentioned. But now we have another vantage point here, one of those big explosions this morning. This one from Action News viewer Raymond Paxing in Belmar, New Jersey. He happened to be flying his drone at the time of the blast. Look at that, 4 o'clock in the morning, the skies are supposed to be pitch black. And you can see that explosion there. This gives you an idea of just how large and powerful it was and the size and brightness of it all. And it could be seen from miles away. If you have viewer video you'd like for us to see and share, you can go to 6abc.com slash share and submit videos, pictures, as well as news tips. Make sure to download the 6ABC app for continuing coverage of today's refinery. Refinery awakened startled neighbors. The blaze at the 150-year-old oil refining complex is still burning at this hour as more than 100 fire personnel work to get it under control. Friday afternoon and a big story on Action News. The fire has been burning for approximately eight hours now and investigators say the fire broke out at the refinery on the 4100 block of Cassiums Avenue just after 4 this morning. The Philadelphia Fire Department says they received reports of a vat burning. When crews arrived on the scene, the refinery's fire brigade had already begun fighting back those intense flames. During the fire, investigators say propane ignited and eventually exploded. We know that four people are being treated for minor injuries. The Philadelphia Department of Public Health has confirmed Air samples taken from the scene of the fire show no immediate danger to the surrounding community. Now we have a team of reporters here for you covering the impact of the refinery fire. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live in a nearby community talking to neighbors about what's been a chaotic morning, as you can imagine. But first, Catherine Scott live right near the scene of that fire in southwest Philadelphia with the latest on this from investigators. Catherine, what are you learning? Eight hours later, the fire is contained, but it is still burning. People could feel the impact for miles. We were getting reports in New Jersey that they could feel and hear the blast. And eight hours later, this is still going on here at this refinery. You can see that the fire department crews are lined up at the refinery. And I want to go to Chopper 6 HD live over the scene right now. This refinery's fire brigade is leading the operation. The Philadelphia Fire Department is assisting. The refining complex is running at a reduced rate right now while the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Now, initially, the fire department said the explosions were coming from a vat of butane, but the refinery says they haven't determined the product that was burning. They believe it was mostly propane. There were four minor injuries to employees, which is incredible when you see the video of what happened. Oh, my God. It's an atom bomb. Cell phone video captured the thunderous blast, the fire illuminating the early morning sky, seen glowing yellow and orange on our Sky 6 camera. The fire coming from Philadelphia Energy Solutions Refinery in southwest Philadelphia. The sun's coming up already, and then it started coming up really fast, and it was a massive, just a massive fireball. It lit up the whole sky, everything. The call came in at 4.05 a.m. When Philadelphia firefighters arrived, the refinery fire brigade was already on scene, beginning the cooling process. Philadelphia Energy Solutions confirms there are three separate explosions in one of their alkylation units. And when I came over to this side of Fast Young Avenue, that's when I seen the explosion, and then I seen a second explosion, and then I seen a, a third explosion. The third explosion rocked my truck. The whole truck started to rock. PES said they were still working to determine what was burning, but believed it was mostly propane. They confirmed four mining, 51 apparatus, and 100. Meanwhile. Oh, this excitement. 
هست 